Yo, it's CG. Check it out, man. I got some things that have been weighing on me. And so, uh, I just want to go ahead and share them, if that's okay. I don't like to keep things to myself. That's how the enemy get room, man, man. Look, look. A lot of people think because I'm Christian, I don't get these feelings of depression. To keep it real, I feel like ever since I've been a Christian, I really started feeling the depression. I'm just being real. Cause while I'm traveling, ministering and praying, homie, ain't spending time with my daughter and it's been weighing on me. Daddy, don't leave me. If you leave, I'll be here playing lonely. I feel the guilt when she fall asleep and she laying on me. A lot of people think because I'm Christian, I don't get these feelings of depression. To keep it real, I feel like ever since I've been a Christian, I really started feeling the depression. I'm just being real. I went to rehab and ever since then I'm clean, homie. So why my baby mama treat me like a fiend, homie? And why's the judge always taking her side? He's mean, homie. And child support do whatever to get that green, homie. They don't care if I'm trying to be an apostle. Travel city to city. I'm out here preaching the gospel. Anything they could get on my disability check. A couple thousand in debt, man, that realization is awful. A lot of people think because I'm Christian, I don't get these feelings of depression. To keep it real, I feel like ever since I've been a Christian, I really started feeling the depression. I'm just being real. My little sister turned 18, she thinks she grown now. Four in the morning, the time that she getting home now. I try to tell her, she tell me leave her alone now. It break my heart when I hear her cuss on the phone now. I try to tell her the devil is out to get her. The more that I try to tell her, the more that she thinks I'm bitter. The more that she disrespects me, the more that I want to flash, bruh. She justifies it by trying to bring up my past, bruh. But that's my little sister and I love her. The most I could do is pray for her and hug her. Yeah. Cause that's my little sister and I love her. The most I could do is pray for her and hug her. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people think because I'm Christian, I don't get these feelings of depression or keep it real. I feel like ever since I've been a Christian, I really started feeling the depression. I'm just being real. My family don't see no future in what I'm doing. If not a college degree, then what is it that I'm pursuing? They saw the ministry help me. Now they want me to leave it. Had it not been for victory, I reach, I'd be a heathen. Ah. A lot of people think because I'm Christian, I don't get these feelings of depression. I keep it real. I feel like ever since I've been a Christian, I really started feeling the depression. I'm just being real. I hate the fact that I'm struggling with this pride. I hate the fact that I'm struggling with this lust. I hate the fact that I struggle between desires of wanting someone to fall with or someone that I could trust. I hate the fact that I'm struggling just to pray. I hate the fact that I struggle to read his word. You might be thinking, relax, but this isn't nothing to you. This might not be nothing to Christians. This is absurd. I'm a man of God. Well, at least that's what I claim to be. Father, please forgive me. Lately, I've been living aimlessly. I done read about how you took Israel out of Egypt. I'm just praying you can step inside my life and do the same with me. I don't like to fall short of your glory, but I'm an extra grace required, so it's part of my story. Creating me a clean heart. And don't take your Holy Spirit from me, Father, because it's already hard enough for me. I need you. And I need to put struggles like these out there. I need to put these thoughts out there. I need to be open and I need to be transparent and I want to take the lead in showing people that you know what? Even as Christians, we can struggle. And I don't want to keep these things in darkness because anytime there's darkness in your heart, there's a place for the enemy to work. And there's a place for the enemy to operate. And I don't want to give the enemy any more room inside of my life. So you know what? I'm not ashamed and I'm not afraid to let people know that I am struggling. And if you're out there right now and you're struggling with some sort of thought or you're struggling with some sort of battle, I need you to open up your mouth and keep it real and keep it a hundred and be strong straight up because that's the only way that we can get help that's the only way that we can continue to grow is by putting things out there the bible says that there's safety in a multitude of counselors i don't know about you but i need to be open and i need to be transparent and i need to be real about my struggles i need to put these things out there so that the enemy doesn't have any kind of room inside of my life or inside of yours god bless you guys